don't be scared of the change scared to be the new kid what's up youtube it's your girl lily jane here back with another music reaction today i'm going to be reacting to tom mcdonald's snowflakes let's go ahead and get into it y'all if you lie to the government, they'll put you in prison. But when they lie to all of us, it's called being a politician. You think taking guns away will save our kids from the killings? But you're pro-choice. Abortion kills way more children. If America's so terrible and racist, it probably isn't safe to encourage immigration. Just saying, all the contradictions are embarrassing. You know who hates America the most? Americans. Tri Man, he's just coming in with that sauce. I mean, like, he even said on his Instagram post that it was like fake woke 2.0. And I am definitely seeing the similarities. You know who hates America the most? Americans. Trigger warnings used to be on TV for seizures, and now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. Oh man, that shit was hard. Oh my gosh, that trigger warnings bar? What? Wow. And now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. He, she, his, him, hers, them, they screw up pronouns. Cause everyone's a retard these days. Here I'm preaching at the Wait a minute. I know who that is. Her name's Blair, and I know she is trans and Holy shit, dude. That's saying a lot that he put her in the video. That's really cool. Hers, them, they screw up pronouns. Cause everyone's a retard these days. Here I'm preaching at the protest that hatred's the problem. But hating straight men, white folks, and Christians is common. Coca Cola telling people they should be less white. They preach intolerance, but if you disagree, they fight. They're Man, Coca-Cola always be putting their nose in business they shouldn't be. Like, I don't know if you guys look at the history of like their marketing. They try to grab on any cultural issue they can, like every single one of them to get people to buy products. And it's kind of messed up, man. And ugh, I'm just not a big fan of Coke, personally. I, I just don't agree with a lot of their marketing techniques. White, they preach intolerance, but if you disagree, they fight. There's a race war here, elections based on fear. Black lives only matter once every four years. Soldiers died for this country. Oh, damn, dude. Wow, he he's spitting facts, though. Like, I know it's messed up, but, like, when elections come, they're going to exploit anyone and anyone, anyone and everyone they can to just try and get votes. They're going to do anything. Once every four years, soldiers died for this country and every one of us benefits. Give welfare to the bums and forget about the veterans. Black folks and white folks divided by the news, but we are all the same. We are red, white, and blue. Ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool. Because honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are so... I mean, I really do feel like America gets a little, like, too much hate. For as much freedom as we have, and we do. Like, there's so many countries that, you know, can't even, like, speak out against things. And we get the ability to do it on social media. We, we get to do it as much as we want. We could literally tell the president to go f*** himself with no repercussions. And I think we just forget, like, how blessed we truly are. It's cool, because honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are so fake. Oh, no. The forecast said that there'd be snowflakes. Whoa. You can make us see it your way. No way. Gasoline and propane. More flames. Oh, no. No more snowflakes. Oh, man. That was crazy. I really do. I like that hook. That chorus was fire. They set us up to fail, that's what they built the system for. Put an ammunition shop across the street from a liquor store. Empowering women, you- Oh my- I- I- I'm sorry, I'm just lost for word, guys. That's just a lot. Put an ammunition shop across the street from a liquor store. Empowering women used to be different than this before. The role models got OnlyFans or dance on a stripper pole. Screw it, I ain't tripping. I don't mean to be mean. But if our children are the future, then our future is bleak. They take an Adderall to focus, hit McDonald's to eat. They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep. They well, I mean- uh, yeah, I mean, there is a lot of that in our culture that's absolutely true. There is, these kids are definitely getting guided down the wrong path with some of the wrong role models. Like, I 100% agree with that. But my other question is, where the hell are the parents? Like, we can sit here and blame these role models all damn day. But where the hell are the parents being like, hey, Susie Q, why the hell are you watching Cardi B twerk? Like, what the f***? Like, what? As a parent, shouldn't your job be to kind of see what your kid's watching? I don't know. I just feel like that's a two-way street there. McDonald's to eat. They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep. They blurred the lines dividing communism and democracy. In 2021, we paint the Patriots as Nazis. The men playing women's sports get trophies for winning. Like, great, let's celebrate a man for beating some women. If you're black, your life matters. You're supposed Oh, my God. Wow, Tom. And I, I think it is. That is kind of messed up because what? You, you already have an unfair 
advantage just because of your genetics. I know, yeah, it's just an unfair advantage. Let's celebrate a man for beating some women. If you're black, your life matters. You're supposed to embrace it. If you're rich or you're smart, then you're probably Asian. If you're gay, then you're brave. All of that I'm okay with. But if you're white, the stereotype is you are a racist. Blaming cap Damn, he's hitting it too with those stereotypes. He was nailing every single one of them on the head. And that's just stuff people have to deal with every day. And he's just being so real about it, you know? Is you are a racist Blaming capitalism like that's the reason things are tough While you tweet from an iPhone and sip on a Starbucks You're supporting what you stand against You don't think you are but A Percocet addict don't donate money to pharma Damn dog, we're all afraid to speak the truth And the more afraid we get, the more we hate the ones who do You're ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool Cause honestly, we are all ashamed of you too Holy shit, he's just spitting straight facts Like all day, dude that was like a mic drop right there. You don't even need to do the chorus again. Dom, you can just stop right there. Right there. That was all we needed. That shit's crazy. Honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are so fake. Oh no. The forecast said that there be snowflakes. Whoa. You can make us see it your way. No way. Gasoline and propane. More flames. Oh no. No more snowflakes. We can all get along, but there's no stopping. Eh, everybody's wrong, that's the real problem. Eh, they don't want to hear it, but they still talking. Eh, soon enough, we running out of options. Eh, this ain't gonna end till it's in the coffin. Eh, we ain't gonna be friends till we try to squash it. Eh. Well, the, the thing is, though, at like for real, at the end of the day, both sides, neither one of them are going anywhere. It's not like we make a few videos and then all the conflicts stop. But like, I get what he's saying, you know, it doesn't stop till you take it to the coffin. And I feel like that's kind of very true. Like, a lot of us hold these hatreds against each other just because of different, you know, beliefs or perspectives. And a lot of the time, we've never been in their shoes. So how can we make those decisions and judgments? There's, there's just so much in this song, dude. Coffee. Hey, we ain't gonna be friends till we try to squash it. Hey, I don't know how we can make amends or we drop it. Snowflakes melt when it's hot, kid. Y'all are so fake. Oh man, that snowflakes melt when it's hot, kid. That shit's crazy. Y'all are so fake. Oh no. The forecast said that there be snowflakes. Whoa. You can make us see it your way. No way. Gasoline and pro. Okay, y'all. I mean, that was pretty fire. I mean, it was a good song. Nova did an incredible job on that video. I mean, she really outdid herself on that one. It definitely created like a whole scene. Um, and that song had a lot of facts. There's a few things I don't agree with, but hey, the that's what he writes music for, you know? He does that to get a rise out of people. But hey, I'm totally here for it. Tom should definitely keep making music. That track was really fire. Do I think it, like, did better than Fake Woke? No. I like Fake Woke better. I'm not gonna lie. And this one's catchy, but Fake Woke, I think it had more of a punch and more energy to it. Um, so I prefer that one. But Snowflakes, it was pretty fire. Like, I like it, Tom. Keep doing it. Keep up the good work. Um, yeah, guys, leave down in the comments some other things you'd like me to react to. Thanks again for watching my video, and have a great day.